metalheads, it's Black Metal Werewolf making a brand new video for you this week. And today we are going to be talking about how much does metal define you. Now I thought of this subject the other night while I was at work, which is quite strange because usually while I'm working I don't even listen to metal or have insightful thoughts, so this idea really came out of the blue. But I was just thinking to myself, with the way I portray myself, I'm kind of curious as how much do people think metal defines me, and then I just started to expand on that thinking, how much does metal define metalheads as a whole? So let's talk about it. So I think it's safe to say that for an awful lot of metalheads, possibly not all of them, but for an awful lot of them, that their love for and passion for heavy metal is clearly a defining trait in their personality or character or however else you want to describe their being. Uh, mostly because a lot of metalheads are very proud of their love for heavy metal. Uh, they're the ones that, you know, wear the t-shirts, make the vests, get the tattoos, buy the CDs, listen to the music loudly, uh, proudly announce when they're going to concerts. They love heavy metal, they know it, and they want everyone else to know it too. So clearly, it is indeed a very defining trait in their personality and character. But obviously, it's not their only one. Uh, I guess you really have to ask yourself, how would you be different if you had never gotten into metal? Uh, for me personally, um, some aspects of my life would obviously be the same, because there are things that I have loved since childhood, since ever, you know, before I even started listening to metal, that are still with me. You know, for example, I love Star Wars. I've loved Star Wars, I think, ever since I was five or six years old, you know, ever since I saw that first one on TV when I was a little kid. So, regardless of if I would have listened to heavy metal, I would probably still love Star Wars to this day. But ever since I got into heavy metal, uh, I just became so enamored with it, and that it, it really boiled to the surface as my main defining interest. Obviously not saying that's my only one, that would be foolish. Can you imagine one person with only one interest in their entire life? That person would be so painfully boring that they could only talk about and have discussions about one thing. So, yes, obviously metalheads, very proud uh, and willing to shout it from the rooftops that they love heavy metal, but to think that is their only defining characteristic is foolish. It's clearly there, but not the only thing. So the more I started thinking about this subject, the more I started thinking, well, obviously I know what I'm all about. I know what I think, I know my likes and interests, I know what I like to talk about, and what I like to talk about with others, etc., etc. But then I just started thinking, well, how do other people perceive me? Do other people perceive me as essentially a one-trick pony that can only talk about one thing and only has the interest of one thing? And then I took a long, hard look in the mirror, and I said to myself, well, can you fucking blame them, pal? Because really, the way I present myself, that is what I'm essentially putting out there, that um, I am a, I'm one person with one character characteristic, which would be a love for heavy metal. Obviously, when you make friends, you they get to know you a lot more and they find out all your interests and all these things and know that there's just so much more about you. But to strangers or just casual acquaintances, they pretty much only perceive you the way you present yourself. So if you present yourself as someone who's all about heavy metal, then obviously that's all they're going to see. Not saying that you have to like hide it as it's some sort of shame, because that's just fucking ridiculous. But I can't blame people for thinking that is the only defining characteristic of my personality when that's all I show them. For example, during the fall and spring seasons here in Canada, uh, as a spring jacket, what I do is I just throw on a sweater and then throw a vest on over it. So strangers and people that I, I guess I just work with who don't really know much about me, that's what they see and that's all they assume about me. So they think, you know, that's all that one guy is about. When obviously, sure, it's a, it's a part of me, there's no fucking doubt about it. But, is that the only thing? No, but I can't blame them for thinking that way when that is the way I'm presenting myself. Perception is all about presentation. You, see, you perceive things the way it's presented, and you can't blame someone for that. I kind of feel like throughout this video, I made it seem like people with heavy metal being a very big part of their life, as in like defining their personality and their character, I kind of feel like I made it sound like a bad thing, and that's not what I'm trying to say at all. By all means, I think it is a fantastic thing, because obviously it is a very defining part of my life, and I clearly like to show it off very proudly, and I know so many other metalheads who like doing that too. And I just have gotten so many messages from people telling me how much of a positive impact their love and passion for metal has had on them. So many people telling me they've gone through some very dark and rough times, and they feel that their love for metal is what got them out of those, those dark places. 
So, you know, if some people might th think, you know, oh, you're a metalhead and that's all you're about, that's a bad thing. By no means is that true. Like, I just, because I know so many people and their love for metal has had such a positive impact on their life. Uh, just for me personally, you know, my love for metal has personally gotten me out of a lot of dark places. And, and just recently, you know, I've always wanted to learn how to play guitar. And my love for metal, I finally picked up a guitar and said, fuck it, I'm going to finally learn how to play this. I don't think I would have had that positive impact on me if I didn't have metal in my life. And once again, I told you, so many people have given me their stories about how metal has had such a positive impact on them. And that's a good thing. So if it is a big trait in your life, by all means, shout out loud and proud because metal is awesome and the people who listen to it are awesome too. But now, of course, I want to get your guys' opinion on all of this. Do you feel that heavy metal is a very big defining characteristic or personality trait in your life? Or do you think it's not as big as that? Uh, do you think it's a positive thing? Do you think it's a negative thing? Or do you think it's non-existent? Please leave me a comment down below letting me and everyone else know what your thoughts are. So like my past videos, I either do an album recommendation or an album warning, and today is another recommendation. The band is Imperialist, the album is Cypher. I got this album, I want to say about a year ago in the Metalhead box, and I was just re uh, listening to it again recently, and you know, it's pretty damn good and I really enjoyed it, and I think a lot of you guys will enjoy it too. So the band is Imperialist, the album is Cypher, check it out. Just a quick question before I wrap everything up here. I've recently had a handful of people message me wanting to know if I sell autographs. And uh, I just want to know if people would actually be interested in that. Because if so, you know, it's winter here in Canada. So during the next big snowstorm, I'll uh, get my face all painted up in corpse paint. I'll head out to the woods with my nice camera here, get some nice shots. Head on over to Walmart, get some nice glossy pictures printed up and uh, start selling some autographs. So let me know if you're interested. If not, no big deal. And if so, I can get this ball rolling and see what I can do. So uh, just let me know what you guys think. Good idea, bad idea, please let me know. So that's it for today's video. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of today's video. Checking out some of my past videos and sharing them with a few of your friends while you're at it. If you want to keep up with me on a more daily basis, you can follow me on my new Facebook page and on Instagram. I also have a P.O. box open. All of that info is down in the description. I also have a handful of patches left for sale, so if you'd like to get your very own, you can click right over here. There's also a link down in the description. Overall, thank you very much for watching, guys, and don't forget to stay brutal.